There's an almond cheese. Anyone else? I'll tell you right now. Now's the time. Go. Oh, are we out to questions now? We're going to get there in just a second. But while I'm doing this, yeah. rice. <laughs> it's different, though. It's just different. It is good, and it's a great substitute. Um, you do CrossFit? You're a CrossFitter. Yes, he is. Suck it up. So here's the thing. What was that? Um, okay, so here's where I get. I know, I was going to say, like, the Asian guy asked about rice. I can usually make the sort of pseudo racist station comments of James, but I don't like it. Um, what are your. So here, here's the thing, I'll, I'll, and I can get into personal, and I'll, we'll do that in just a second. Uh, what are your goals? Because you're pretty lean. Yeah. Uh, gain weight and get stronger. Gain weight and get stronger? Yeah, more. <laughs> what do you mean? like me. You have a hard time what? Gain weight. Um, <laughs> well, as far as rice goes, okay, so as far as rice goes, like, well, so here's the thing, like, as, as far as rice goes, so rice is a grain, so rice, guys, is a grain, but it does have gluten. So it's a gluten-free grain. So the two, the two starchy exceptions to this whole thing, and when I say exceptions, I mean that's loosely based because it's for performance stuff, is rice, um, steel cut oats, because those are gluten-free, and potatoes. I, I eat four potatoes a day with that pound of beef. It's a massive amount of food. It really is. And I'm still hungry afterwards, OK? Um, I would try, would you do brown rice or sticky white? Don't do brown. And the only reason I say don't do brown, we should have this conversation. Because it's going to counter, it's going to, it's going to totally, it's going to totally diminish what I basically just talked about. So I'll give the brief version. For, for, because of what you want and for the performance gain, you want sticky white rice because it has the highest sugar content in it. So you want that for your stuff, but you gotta eat it at the right time. So I can, I, we can have that conversation, okay? But everybody else, unless you're trying to get bigger <laughs> and stronger, stay away from, stay away from rice in general. Oh, I've got plenty. Oh, well, hold on, let me, let me take <laughs> Okay, so we understand, I mean, let's do the Q&A thing. So, but first I wanna make sure we, we understand it all. So we understand the difference between favorable, and, or, or what the paleo, what the paleolithic platform is, right? Natural stuff that had parents, had a soul, was a process, and the things that are harder to, harder to digest, these are the unfavorable things that cause this, and we want to avoid that. That's the whole premise. And do, I, I mean, that was the two-second explanation, but what I just talked about was the in-depth of why. Do we understand why one helps and why one hinders? Do we understand why this? would fuel the Ferrari, yeah. and why this would cause damage to the engine over time, we get that. Because if you don't, pull me aside, and, I, I, I can, and I, I'll do it again. Okay. All right, so now. Now, now hit me. Can I say one thing? Hit me with it, please. Uh, two years ago, one, two years ago, the amount of paleo stuff that was available and online stuff was pretty sparse. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Whereas now you go look at it, it's huge. It is all over the place and great, great huge. Resources and really what 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 are some foods that people love to eat that all that now they're thinking like oh I can't have that anymore. Oh man, let's get better than that. Pizza. Pizza. Pasta. Potato. Anything else? Oh, ice cream. Ice cream. Don't think quintessentially American. Yeah. So here's where I'm going to go with that one. Here's where I'm going to go with that one. Ready? Um, pancakes. Yeah. Pancakes. 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 Nowadays, okay, there are people who are like nutrition crazy like I am and have found 
so many different ways to create these foods out of this stuff. <coughs> okay? I, I also want to add into this one. Healthy fats. What are healthy fats? Avocados. Nuts. Coconut. All coconut products. Okay, yeah, nuts and seeds. Um, you know, guacamole, oils. By the way, from here on out, now it is my major gift to you. Cook everything, cook everything in organic, unrefined, um, preferably expel and pressed, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Organic, unrefined, for medium heat. Coconut oil. Uh, don't go to Whole Foods, go to Trader Joe's. It's like a $3 difference. Even better, you have a Costco membership. They have tubs of it, that big, for like six bucks. More like, or like eight bucks. I saw it yesterday, it was 23. Is that what it is? 23 bucks. 23 bucks? Like, I mean, I yeah, it's huge. It's huge. Like, I mean, it'll take you a really long time to go through that, okay? That is really healthy for you because it's made from monounsaturated fatty acids, okay, MUF8. Those are healthy fats that do two things. They give you energy, okay, and they balance out the healthy fats in your body, all right? They, um, it'll also fill you up. It'll satiate you. So you can use fat. Fat is good, by the way. Start getting that in your head. Fat is good if you eat the right kinds. You can use that as a supplement to, um, to help fill you up more so that you don't continually get hungry. You eat lots of sugar and low fat, your insulin level will stay high and you blunt your ability to feel hungry and you'll keep staying hungry. It's no wonder why people can order the supersized meals at McDonald's, okay, with the large drink and eat a 20 piece chicken McNugget and a supersized fry. How is that possible? Because they're drinking the soda. And that soda is keeping the insulin level high and the sugar spike high, so that's blunting your feeling of, of hunger, of, of feeling full. So if you're like, this is basic. I'm not feeling full yet, I'm eating an ungodly amount of food. How is this possible? <laughs> no one at McDonald's is having that thought process in their head, okay? But it's because of the sugar. You keep sugar low and fat high, you won't be able to put that much food down, unless you're a major athlete, so. Guacamole, also from this day out. Start eating guacamole. Why? Because it's great. It's great. It tastes so freaking good. Put it on everything. Eat it with everything. Whole Foods, that's like the greatest guacamole I've ever had in my life. Okay? It's awesome. If you know how to make your own, make your own. There's a pizza recipe online. Just Google paleo pizza. You'll get 10, you'll get 10 recipes. Paleo pasta. Spaghetti squash. Anybody ever make it that way? Cut it in half, bake it, scrape it out. It tastes great. Zucchini noodles. You get a julienne. Julienne those things. Put them in a pan with some coconut oil, pepper, minced garlic. Use the Rouse tomato sauce. Make some meatballs. It doesn't taste the same, but it's a good substitute. Paleo pancakes, I'll send you that recipe. Yes, I'll send you that recipe, that one's the bomb. You guys will love that. Ice cream, non-dairy, coconut ice cream. What if it's trans fat? <laughs> trans fats? Let's take worried about it. Look at, again, again, look at the ingredients. What's the, uh, what's the uh, really good coconut ice cream? No, they have trans. It's not so delicious. Is it so delicious? It's not. Delicious? It's not a, it is so delicious. So delicious. So there's another like dream, coconut dream or something like that. What's that? What's that one? Bliss, coconut bliss. I don't know what it is. Okay. Just look at the label. Okay. Look at the label. If you see anything that you can't pronounce, put it back. That's a, that's that's like a first indicator. Pancakes, brownies, cookies. My point is that you have. Like Kimo said, there are paleo recipes for everything. <laughs> everything. Fettuccine, lasagna, all of those things that you're thinking you can't eat. But my suggestion is, is for those first 30 days, don't do the paleo substitutes with all these other things. Try and try and be more strict than not. You'll get the you'll yield the best results. Okay? So if you can't go without the Diet Coke, like I said, get the Zevia and do a half of it and don't drink the whole thing. There's a cola. There's a cola, that's better than the diet coke. The chocolate route, 
Theo's chocolate bar, 80%, two squares, call it a night. Okay? If cheese, do the other thing. Now, now let's do the Q&A. Anything you want to know. Any questions? Yes. Okay, I'm going to turn on the quinoa. Do you get any of the quinoa? Quinoa. So, uh, quinoa's a grain. Yeah. Um, it, it is gluten-free, okay? But it is, it is carbohydrate-based. It is more of a carbohydrate drink. So my mother is very slowly getting into this whole mentality that I'm preaching over and over and over again. She's making slow adjustments. And she likes to eat a whole lot of quinoa. Her response to me when I said, please don't do quinoa is, why, Rob? That's how I get my protein. Anybody here think e eating quinoa to try and get protein? No? OK. Because it is a, a gluten-free, carbohydrate-based grain. Uh, just like nuts are a fat, are a um, are a fat-based nut. It has protein in it, but it's not a protein. It's a, not a protein dominant grain. In general, you guys, for the time being, want to push away from grains. That's 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 the, that's the real answer. Right there. It's a grain. Are there worse grains? Sure, but um, for this thirty days, don't do keto. Don't do quinoa, don't do rice. Try not to do potatoes. Um, if you're concerned with a, I'm going to just talk, you know, if anyone's following you, falling into your category, performance-based, weight-based, a very strict paleo diet is tough. Really, really tough. Mary? Yeah, I was going to say, so after your last seminar, I went super strict paleo and ended up getting pretty lean and now I'm trying to gain it back. So yeah. can you talk a little bit Time, timing on how to throw that stuff in. Yeah. For, so this is for a performance benefit only. So like I said in the very beginning, you need to cater this stuff around your your, uh, your goals, what you're looking for. So for a performance-based benefit game. Because Marion came to my last one and followed it and got super lean. And Marion's, Marion Mary, Mary going from what I know to super lean is like, holy crap, because you are, have never been uh, not lean in my mind. You've always been very lean. So getting leaner for you is oh, crap. I mean, that's pretty shredded. So to put that weight back on, you had to add those carbohydrates back to provide energy and to put glucose into your muscles. To lift weights well, lifting weight will get strong. You'll get stronger. To hit heavy sets, you need a good amount of sugar in your muscles. Glucose, okay, um, muscle glycogen. If you don't eat starchy carbohydrates, you won't get the type of sugar that you want. You can't get the same, you're gonna get glucose from potatoes and rice and, and starchy and uh, sugary, sugary rice, potatoes, and stuff like that. From fruit, you're gonna get fructose. They're different sugars and you will benefit more from the rice and potato version than the fruit one. Okay? They just react differently in the body. One gets stored in, um, in, in the muscles better, one gets stored in the, um, in the liver better. Okay? You, your hepatic glycogen stores, you want to keep high. So, the, and the best way to do that is through like sticky white rice or white potatoes or sweet potatoes or yams. And when to eat them optimally, if you have a super hard training session, is right after it. And then, um, if you're gonna try and follow like a uh, like a um, carbohydrate backloading style protocol, like Charles Poliquin type thing, or, um, or or something like that, like a lean gains approach. I don't know if you know who that guy is who does lean gains. You want to do a high amount of sugar with protein and like next to no fat at a at a meal before you go to sleep. The reason you don't do the fat in it because the fat will make you full, right? But the fat will also blunt. The it slows digestion. The sugars you're taking in, you want to get sucked in fast. So you'll take the protein in, and you'll take those potatoes and rice in. Your body will hit, hit that insulin spike that we talked about. But you take it in at night, and when you, if, when and if you crash, you use that and you pass out, go to sleep. And then overnight, you have a slow digestive process of those sugars. That's your body soaking it up. And if you add the right amount of sugar, 
basically take in the right amount of rice and potatoes in, you'll know the next morning how you feel, whether you did it right. Because you get what I call walk through a wall syndrome. If you didn't eat enough, and you trained really hard that day, you're gonna wake up and you're gonna feel sluggish and, and, not, and not strong. And you're gonna, you're gonna regret the, the strength cycle that you gotta go in and do that day. But if you do it right, if you do it overdo it, you're gonna feel heavy and sluggish and still kind of tired. If you nail it, you're gonna wake up and feel like you can walk through a wall. And that's why I call it the walk through a wall. And that's a guess and check. I can't tell you what that is for you. That's for your body. But what I would do is, for the time being, hit your strength, hit your workout, take something in pretty quickly afterwards. I usually take in a banana or whatever. And then that night, big bowl of, big bowl of sticky white rice and some meat, very little fat. And then, uh, and, and maybe if you're really trying to get after it, go to uh, like Safeway or whatever it is and get the Coke bottles, the actual Coca-Cola, that's not made from high fructose corn syrup, but cane sugar, pound one of those, take that insulin spike, and then when you start to crash, hit the pillows and turn the lights out. And see how you feel the next day. <laughs> Other questions, yeah? When you say nuts and seeds, is that raw or you cook them and salt them? Ideally raw. Ideally raw. If they're roasted, does it in, uh, affect the integrity of the nut? Yeah, a little bit. But that's like, if, if, if you're thinking about that, you're gonna, you're gonna haunt yourself. If you really drive yourself crazy over this stuff, and you're like, oh my god, that has salt on it. Or, uh, or oh my god, I think that had a little bit too much fat. Or the, that actually has, um, it's been proven to halt your gain. Because you have a mental process, and you're fearful to eat, and you're fearful of what you're eating, that will delay your progress. If you have salt and nuts at home, oh, no, eat them, that. don't worry about it. I just didn't know if you have raw nuts or... Raw's best. Raw's best. Okay. Other ones. I know, I'm sorry guys, I do talk a lot, but Janice, sit up. You can, you can learn from this. These people are, they're here for them, not for you. What about alcohol? Oh, yeah. What about it? <laughs> I have a biased opinion on this one, because I don't drink at all. Hey, take okay. your biased opinion away from it. What's the feeling Alcohol is here. Whether you're, it's very simple. No, it's, it's very simple. Okay. In here, I'm assuming your goals are either lose weight, increase performance, gain muscle, maintain muscle and lose weight, or be healthy. Anybody fall into anything other than what I just said? Okay, alcohol, alcohol blunts the progress for all that, period, okay. period. It does not enhance any of that. It just blunts it. This is super cool. It's 30. That's all I'm concerned about. No, no, it's okay. Look, uh, you guys are going to sign up for this thing? How much do you want out of it? If you don't, if you don't, if, if you're not willing to give up some of these things for a 30-day period, you guys, then, like, to be blunt, you wasted your time sitting here, and you wasted my time, and you're going to waste your own time um, being a part of what Kimo and Janice and Daniel and, and everybody here are trying to offer you. This, I, I'm telling you, this stuff works. It works. I've never seen it not work. I know that I say I don't guarantee things, but I'll say I've never seen people really take a hold of it and follow it like even 95% and walk away from it and never be like, holy shit, that, that worked. I've never had someone be like, that didn't work for me at all. I've never had it. So you can take that for what it's worth. Like I said, this is experience based. This is not in books. What are some really good anti for a All. All of them. All. All. Yeah, go nuts. Really go nuts. The more fruit you do, but the more fruit you do, the more sugar you're gonna get. So every time you take in fruit, remember you're gonna get a spike. Yeah. It's different from the spike from sugar, from like processed sugars, but it is a spike nonetheless. So you do want to keep sugar levels low for this time period, and then slowly reintroduce them. <laughs> but go nuts on vegetables. Go crazy. I really don't. It's, that's totally fine with me. No big deal there. Yep. And I'll tell you right now, you're gonna look, you're gonna look for nuts and fat as your go-to snack, 
because they're crunchy and they're easy and they're accessible by handfuls. That's gonna happen a lot and your sugar cravings are gonna, you're gonna start leaning towards fruit and you gotta be careful because it, it can go overboard. One handful of almonds can turn into six lightning fast. Lightning fast. And how bad is that? And how bad is that? Well, on the, on the fruit bit, on the fruit side of things, on the fruit side of things, you know, remember, not bad or good, but just think about, you know, oh my God, I just ate an entire carton of strawberries. It's a fair amount of sugar. Nuts are very high calorie. So to a degree, like the quality of what you're eating, yeah, is much better, but when it comes to healthy fats, healthy fats pack a punch on, cal on the calorie side of things. So, you know, when you're doing exercise and you're doing other things like calories in versus calories out, that, that is a fact that remains true. If you're exercising X amount of calories, but you're eating twice as many, fat uh, um, weight loss is gonna be challenging. But just know that if you don't overeat those calories, the, the, the fat content from nuts and avocados and stuff like that is getting, because it's a higher quality fat, your body's gonna process it easier. So that's sort of the saving grace. Yeah, they're high calorie, but they're being used a lot more efficiently. Just don't take massive amounts in and you're gonna be, feel really, really great. Any other ones? You've been sitting so patiently. Are you Kimo's mom? You are? It's such a pleasure to meet you. She's looking at me like, this, this asshole. <laughs> Tell me to do all these things I don't want to do. Who is this kid, 29? <laughs> She's like, he thinks he's old. <laughs> it works. It works. I, I swear, no, no, swear to God. your diet? She eats um, all the pork fat and everything. Pork fat? Oh, yeah. So, okay. So, um, uh, what's your heritage? If you don't mind me asking. Hawaiian. Okay, Hawaiian. Yeah. Hawaiian okay, Hawaiian Chinese. Do you eat spam? <laughs> Please I lived in Hawaii for yeah, six I months. Spam, is no. No. spam sucks. <laughs> spam sucks. And by the way, by the way, he's not here, but don't ask Daniel <laughs> advice on this stuff, okay? Skip Daniel and come oh, to me. Daniel, so Daniel and I will work out, but, but, but. What Daniel does for him works because he goes to regionals and he beats me on workouts all the time. Okay, so he may not fall into what I think is a great eating spectrum, but he's an amazing athlete and what he does works for him. Do I think that he would be better if he lived with me and we trained in a compound and he couldn't eat all of that shit? I think he'd be a lot better. Yeah. Take him. Because he does I don't want. I don't want. Yeah, I. Okay. But, no, but how, how is... But I eat everything else. I eat everything. That's you eat everything? Okay, but we can't, we can't, we can't eat everything. No, I mean, I eat all that food. All the bad food, too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's okay, so what did you have to eat today? Let's do a case study real quick. What did you have to eat today?
Let's try and do. They actually have paleo bread now at Whole Foods. They do. So, just to try it, try a slice of paleo bread. We're going to call it pea bread. And almond butter. And almond butter. Try that. If you can't stomach the bread, but you like the pea, but you like the almond butter, put the almond butter on the bacon. I'll, I'll beat you halfway. Yeah. Okay. Instead of having the two things that I don't agree with, now you only have one. So you just did, you just made a fifty percent increase on that meat, in towards the right direction. How's that? Sound? Can you do that? Okay, but it would be nice to have something in the morning. So if you could have maybe some sort of a small like meat cooked in with some vegetables or something, then do that. When it comes to this stuff and spending your money, going the organic uh, free range route pays off. It's expensive, I know, but your dollar goes a lot further. If your, if your beef is grass fed, You can get this stuff actually pretty cheap at Trader Joe's. Chicken should be free range. Just because it says organic doesn't mean a whole lot to me personally. If it says free range, that, that, makes, that makes sense. Because they're walking around. They're not, there's not 10 of them thrown into a two foot cage. Those are stressful lifestyles. Uh, eggs also, eggs should be free range. But if you can get an organic free range that's omega rich, hell yeah, do all of those. Um, vegetables and fruit, Oops. veggies and fruit. If you can do organic, or even better, um, local grown, those are the best because you know that it came from the ground and then it came from the ground into the place, um, as opposed to like frozen or prepackaged. But if not, don't worry that much about it. Because I know that really doing this as strict as possible is expensive. So um, that's my advice for those kinds of things. Buying a high quality protein is the most important thing. That is the most important thing. Because your muscles, your muscles will, change, will help elicit strength and performance gains and fat loss. So you need the muscles to be in the best shape of, of all. The muscles need the most attention and care. Feed your muscles with the best protein possible, and that's that right there. Yeah.